<laughs> like, hey, Scoob, it's a jack drive. Well, red, red drive. I don't know. Just uh, hanging out in the car, going for a drive. James Arnold Taylor here, Jack Drive. I have talked about, I've done a Jack Drive where I listed some of my favorite things, and I, you know, I'm editing that one right now as I'm watching it. So, but you've all seen it now because it's out for you. But while this is here and I'm recording this, it's not out yet. Anyways, um, <clears throat> listing some of my favorite things, and it's funny because. While, yes, I listed a lot of my favorite things, there's so many of my other favorite things musically and everything that I totally missed out on that one. And I'm watching, I'm going, oh, I should have said this, I should have said that, I should have, you know, I didn't. Anyways, I'll do a part two sometime. That'll be fun. Getting on the freeway, heading out to Burbank, time for a jet drive. I thought, though, you know, I've never really, I don't know if I've done one on my favorite cartoons. I know I've mentioned in interviews and different things. My favorite thing, uh, animation-wise, what is my favorite animation? Looney Tunes, Warner Brothers Looney Tunes. Those are my all-time favorite, but they're kind of my all-time favorite for anything. Like, if I want to laugh, I, you know, and it's like, obviously I've said, like, I love Seinfeld and all that, and I do. But if I really want to laugh, wholeheartedly just fun good stuff Looney Tunes Bugs Bunny who's my favorite Bugs Bunny's pretty darn great Daffy Duck though oh he's you know Daffy is no second to Bugs as as in the cartoons as he was it I think he's equally he is on par he is awesome Daffy Duck come on how great is he because he's so frustrated and neurotic. He's, he's George Costanza before George Costanza was George Costanza. If you're a Seinfeld fan, you know who George Costanza is. If you don't, whatever. If you're not, then you don't, and whatever. But uh, Daffy Duck, yeah. Porky Pig, uh, I love Porky Pig. Porky Pig is just great. My favorite though, I think I've mentioned him before in these, uh, Charlie Dog, I love, he's one of my favorites as well. Because he only had like a couple cartoons and it was with Porky, you know. You ain't got no dog, I ain't got no master. What do you say we get together? Charlie Dog. I don't, 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 don't want a dog. Porky Pig. Oh. Looney Tunes. Yeah, really my favorite. But, so, Saturday mornings in the 70s and 80s were ruled by, you know, like ABC Saturday morning cartoons. Justice League. I watch the Justice League all the time with the Wonder Twins and Robin and Batman and Superman. Uh, I loved all of those. Wonder Woman with her invisible jet. That was like the sound, you know. Um, I watched all of those. Scooby-Doo. Watched a lot of Scooby-Doo. Grape Ape. Uh, Captain Caveman. Uh, all of those were pretty darn great. Droopy Dog, though, also one of my absolute favorites. Tom and Jerry. I watched a lot of Tom and Jerry, which is, you know, of course, ironic because they don't talk. But Tom always said that. Oh, 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 oh. That was like like they recorded it once or something, you know. And, and and Jerry, kind of a little jerk, you know. But uh, I was always rooting for Tom. I had a cat when I was a kid. I was a cat guy when I was a kid because I was afraid of dogs. Because I was bit by a lot of dogs when I was a kid. But I love dogs. And I'm more of a dog person now than I am a cat person. However, all of you cat people, it's because I'm really allergic to cats. And my throat just closes up with most cats. And my sinus just explodes. So, like, so much so that I can tell when I'm around people that have cats. And if I give somebody a hug that has a cat, I can get a little like allergy so uh, but I had a cat his name was Ziggy like Ziggy Stardust the uh, David Bowie uh, character so uh, Ziggy was my cat he was black and white and he was a great cat and if I'm really ambitious on this jet drive I'll put some pictures of Ziggy and me in this 
But Ziggy was a great cat because he would just do whatever. You could just throw him over your shoulder and, uh, you know, put outfits on him, box like, you know, and do the little paw, like a little cat paw thing, you know, and, and he just, he just loved everybody. He was great. He was a great cat. So Ziggy was my cat. I had a dog named Neva. He was this, uh, uh, Neva was a she, she was a Samoyan Husky. We had her for a very short time because uh, she was this family's and then they needed to get rid of her uh, because they moved or something, you know what I mean? Like they, I shouldn't say they need to get rid of, that sounded terrible. They needed to find her a home and they found her a home with us, but then they just missed her so much they ended up taking her back. And I, you know, I mean, I was like four and five years old, so I don't remember the whole thing completely, but yeah, I don't know why I'm talking about dogs and cats now, but uh, in relation to watching Saturday morning cartoons and stuff. So yeah, so I was, I would watch all the Saturday morning cartoons. Droopy Dog, I would, I would watch cartoons then. So they would play on channel 13. See now there was only 13 channels, but technically there, really there was only 12 channels because channel one didn't exist. It was like uh, just, and you had these knobs and you would click, 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 you would turn the channel. So there were 12 channels, channel 13 played, and channel 11, uh, KTLA, yeah, KTLA, still, it was KTLA then. They would play the cartoons in the mornings, and they would play a mix of Warner Brothers, you know, Looney Tunes, and Tom and Jerry, and Droopy Dog, and all of those, and I would watch them before going to school, and then I would come home and watch some cartoons and such too, which was pretty great. And so I really did love watching all the cartoons, memorizing all of them. And so when I really want to laugh, that's, that's what I love. What are some of my favorite particular episodes? Uh, gosh, I, you know, some of the titles, I should probably know them by title, but you know the one where uh, Bugs Bunny is doing the opera with the opera singer and uh, and Bugs he's got the glove and he slips his hand out of the glove and the glove stays there and he, and he you know, it's so funny and uh, oh boy they're just all they're all great uh, Tweety and Sylvester although Tweety much like Jerry kind of a jerk you know <laughs> I thought I Tom Ponytail. Oh, uh, Henry the Chicken Hawk and Foghorn Leghorn, some of my favorites. I'm a chicken hawk and you're my chicken. Come on, chicken. No, no, I say, I say, I say no, son. You gotta keep your eye on the ball, boy. How about eye, ball? That's a joke. I say, I say that's a joke, son. <clears throat> I haven't really warmed my voice up today, so. I that was a pretty bad Foghorn Leghorn, sorry. Now, Foghorn Leghorn's interesting because Mel Blanc, the voice would change a little. If you listen, and I'm sure on YouTube there's videos of all the various Foghorn Leghorn cartoons strung together, you'll hear his voice is different in different episodes. And that happens uh, as you kind of refine characters and find them. <clears throat> And I'm sure that most of the time he just went in from memory. They didn't like play him a reference. Nowadays, when we go in to do a session and we haven't done a voice in a long time, they'll play us a reference of what we did before. And they always have it on file. And it's easy because it's digital. Well, back then it was just big, thick reels of tape and they would have had to go back and play him all that and string that up and then string up another one to record. And so, uh, but if you listen, sometimes I say, sometimes Foghorn Leghorn's a little raspy and he's a little higher up. No, son. You know, and other times, I, I, no, boy. I, I, I say no, boy. Kind of like Fred Flintstone, you know, in that same thing. There's some different layers and levels to it. Just like Daffy. Daffy Duck changed. No, but all of them changed. Bugs Bunny changed. You get all those different variances of them. But oh, no, man, I would love, loved Henry, Henry the Chicken Hawk. And of course, all of you that, uh, you know, know this, I, I don't know if you know this, they would pitch up Mel Blanc's voice for certain characters. Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, uh, Tweety Bird, Henry the Chicken Hawk, uh, Sylvester Jr. Sylvester Jr. was basically Sylvester sped up. Oh, father, I'm so embarrassed. Whatever can a poor pussycat do? You know, oh, suffering succotash, son. 
and then they would pitch him up and then he would just be more you know um, but so they would so, so the tape players the big two track reel to reels remember that I've told you about here before they had like a little pitch button on them and you could you could you, it was a knob rather you pull it out and you would change it and it would it would speed the tape up or it would slow the tape down so you could make something bigger or you could make it faster and smaller and all of that so now they do it all electronically and I got to tell you there's not as much control over it and it doesn't sound as real to me that's my so I was the voice of all the minions in the Despicable Me game maybe a couple games I, I can't I, I'm pretty sure I did it two games of that and I was every minion voice and the way they did it was I just obviously I just did it in my normal voice and then they pitched it up electronically but but ah you know <clears throat> uh my boy no 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 my boy you know and and so I would go no 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 my boy my boy cake yeah ooh cake and then you know pitch it up no 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 my boy ooh cake huh you know the minions so they they electronically altered it but in the old days when it was just tapes they would just move the knob and speed it up or slow it down there you go so uh love 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 those loved popeye i actually watched popeye quite a bit well blow me down oh yeah and, and you know what i loved about the popeye was the stuff that like and the older old ones where uh bluto sometimes it was brutus sometimes it was bluto right the name changed a little uh but bluto's would his like sounds you know just all the noises they made was it was very funny to me and, and Papa oh, yeah, and all of oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh Papa you know it was just Osmigarsk Bluto's got me olives so when I was a stand-up that was one of my jokes <laughs> I would do a, a, a I would say, say I love Popeye I just once just once watching that though I'd love that to be like you know uh, Bluto's carrying olive oil away and Ooh, Popeye, help! Oh. Just once, I'd love to hear Popeye go, Oh, me, Garsk! Bluto's got me olive oil! Oh, let me think about this for a second. Oh. Keeper! <laughs> it was, yeah, it was, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that joke's funny, maybe it's not. I don't know. It made me laugh. Um, but yeah, so I watched Popeye. I watched uh, all, all of those. So now there's a lot of cartoons that kind of, that all of you got uh, into that you were raised with that I am too old for and that I didn't grow up with them. Uh, I mean, you know, to be honest, Ninja Turtles, I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but I was, I was pretty old when those came out. So I was watching them as a, as a late teen and, uh, you know, like 18, 19, 20, I think is when it all became real big but I, I like them quite a bit and, and all that so <clears throat> but like Transformers G.I. Joe all of those were just a little after my cartoon heyday so I just didn't get into them as much as uh, so many people now are so uh, but I, I have a great appreciation for them and all my friends that were in them, you know, Michael Bell and, and all these, uh, Peter Cullen, all these greats that were, were in these cartoons. But, um, so yeah, so some of the cartoons that I liked were a little different than some of the ones that some of you all grew up. But Looney Tunes, timeless. You can never go wrong with Looney Tunes. So there you go. So I just thought I'd, you know, talk to you a little bit about those today. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out all the other videos. There is more JAT content coming besides just JAT drives. Don't worry. I'm doing more. I'm doing more. I just, I've been working on writing some things uh, and working on some other projects where I haven't had a lot of time in my studio editing. So these are kind of like the easiest things to edit and just get out for you. So, but yes, more to come. I'll take you for a tour to my studio soon. I'm going to uh, do other things, uh, more Clone Wars conversations and all of that. So not to fear, more to come to the Jat channel. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing and liking this video. We'll see you.